Hi, welcome to Mocum's weekly Instagram live session from our Sydney studio. I'm Stephanie Moffat, Mocum Design Director. Hi, and I'm Annie Moyer, Mocum's Product Developer. Thank you so much for tuning back in with us this week. Uh, today we're going to give you a behind the scenes look into our creative product development process on uh, creating a digital print. And we're going to use um, the drapery design Peonia as our illustration. Yeah, so Peonia from the La Primavera collection came from again studying research with looking at Japanese and Chinese silkscreen prints and in particular we looked into the peony flower. And what we liked about the Japanese and Chinese screens is that inherent modern simplicity and the femininity of these artworks. And we felt this really suited the watercolour um, medium, which was the painting style that we wanted to work in. And Peonia was particularly influenced by the stunning Japanese artwork from the 1930s, Peonia and B, which dates back to, um, oh sorry, the 30s, as we said. And we really chose to include um, this inspiration of the bee um, because we thought it added some whimsy to the design and we loved the fragility of the peonia flower. Absolutely, the inclusion of the bumblebee is very much in line with what we've been seeing in high-end fashion. You, you will have noticed an abundance of insect embellishment in handbags, jewellery and shoes by brands the likes of Gucci. But most importantly, what we really wanted to provide was a visual platform to start a conversation. We wanted our team and our customers to be able to talk to and promote the importance of bees and their rapidly declining population. It's a critical ecological issue that we at James Dunlop Group are incredibly passionate about. We are the proud keepers of urban beehives at both our Auckland and our, and our Melbourne offices. The hives in our Auckland distribution centre, which you can see uh, photographed here on the board, uh, have a growing population of nearly 100,000 honeybees and the team have enjoyed a successful harvest of very delicious honey, uh, which I was lucky to try. So after selecting our motif inspiration, we then develop our desired textile repeat system before we start painting the artwork in the Sydney studio. So this repeat really spoke to our love of luxury hand-painted floral wallpapers. We wanted to capture that elegant um, repeat system that you see um, so often and so to achieve this we chose to work in a half drop um, repeat which you can see stepped out here the actual unit is 140 centimeters at this stage high by 70 centimeters wide and it creates a much more organic sort of rhythmic floral repeat and branch system and you can see there the half drop match then stepping down um, 70 centimetres, which um, creates this very um, elegant and also almost invisible repeat. And also during this process while we're creating the um, pattern repeat, we're researching and testing base cloth options. Absolutely. So once the repeat system is resolved, we will send it to our European based artist. She also painted the beautiful magnolia the Palmer and also our Pampignon design. She has a stunning, uh, recognisable handwriting. She's regarded as one of the best textile watercolour artists in the world. She's such a pleasure to work with. So from our detailed creative brief, she hand painted our stunning Peonia artwork to ensure that all of the beautiful watercolour subtleties could be captured in the final digital print process. We, this is our physical um, canvas, which is sent back to us, but at the same time, she scans at an incredibly high resolution, a digital file, which really captures an immense amount of detail. The scan literally shows every blemish, every pencil mark, um, even rogue paintbrush fibers as well. Uh, so we then begin the very laborious process of digital cleaning, um, digitally cleaning the artwork file which can take uh, days to resolve. Yes, I can attest to it being very laborious. Um, so as we said earlier, the original artwork was initially scaled at half the final size. And when that first trial arrived into the studio, we felt it wasn't quite right. It didn't quite feel like Mocum. So we um, decided to double the space and create a more modern aesthetic. And I think Magnolia here is a great example 
of the look we were going for where you have that ground filling up as much space as the motif and um, it just makes it more appropriate to how we live in Australia. Absolutely. So the next step is our colour development process for each custom colourway, which is really time consuming but an incredibly important uh, stage to get right. Our colour inspiration for Pioneer Design was very much in line with this feminine design movement that inspired the wider La Primavera collection that we've spoken to a lot in the past. But given the scale and being a drapery design, we wanted to ensure that there was a softness um, and a very livable colour palette within Pioneer. With a, a slightly sort of subdued sensibility, we wanted to create a calming sense of sanctuary within the home. So the final design files for each colourway are then digitally sent, in this case, to United Kingdom. Uh, to England to one of the oldest and most reputable printing mills in the world. They are amazing um, and the colour strikes are produced for us to review on our um, selected base cloth. And given the nature and technology of new digital printing processes, we no longer need to cut traditional print screens, so it's now a relatively fast process and only takes around three, uh, three to four weeks to see the first colour trials. And when these first trials came back, we looked at the um artwork and decided that we wanted to actually add a little bit more complexity to the pattern and you can see here we um, then hand painted or digitally hand painted into the colorway files more complexity um, of color into the flower stamens because we wanted to coordinate back with the planes within the La Primavera collection and although, again, another laborious process because we had to go in and paint each colourway, we really felt that this added um, a lot of value um, to, the, to the final design. Absolutely. So here is the final Peonia print in our curated palette. So first is the beautiful soft blush pink, which um, is balanced by a lot of beautiful willow and sage green. We have one beautiful neutral called Parchment. We really wanted to include a warm neutral. We're seeing warm, um, warm neutrals taking center stage in color trend forecasting, toning more uh, sort of calico and off-white and creams. And we have the beautiful soft duck egg, which has got some beautiful willow greens and also uh, some lovely soft neutrals in the flower centers. And Peonia, as we say, um, said earlier, is designed in Sydney it is painted in Europe and it is printed in the United Kingdom. So that's a wonderful example of how Mocum Textiles have a local vision and an international process. It's also available in a coordinating paper in three colourways that um, match back to the drapery textile and allows you to um, create that pattern on pattern mix almost like you would with a, a toile, so a modern toile within your home. Absolutely. Or you can use them separately. And this is on the hugely popular vinyl substrate that we used in the Marjorelle collect collection. So it's practical and pretty. It looks amazing in bedrooms and also powder rooms. We have it um, wallpapered in our Sydney showroom bathroom and it does create a very relaxing bathroom experience. And you can see that chubby bee there looking fun. So for all product information of Peonia, um, test results, uh, recommended usage and care instructions, we would uh, welcome you to visit our website and also to have a look at the um, beautiful wallpaper as well. So thanks so much for tuning in today. We hope to see you next week where we talk on our favourite topic, <laughs> testing. testing. But it's actually a really important one. Yeah. So take we'll care. We'll deep dive into that. Stay safe. Kia kaha. Thank you.